Hey guys, it's Erin, EW Wellness Solutions, and this is Just Like Christmas from the band called Low. It's from the OC Volume 3 Remix version, so you know it must be good. And today is day three of the holidays and alcohol. Now this topic might be a little strange for you, but it's when you don't want to drink. I've been in this situation, and it can be things like I have to get up the next morning at 5 to teach a spin class, and the last thing I need is to be hungover or even have a little bit of alcohol because it's just not what I need to be doing. Maybe you said a long time ago alcohol isn't for you. Maybe you're training for a Spartan and you're just not doing that for a while. Whatever your reasons, it's totally cool. How do we get out of it? Because there's a lot of pressure to drink, especially if you're at like a cocktail party or it's the work party. So not just pressure, but also Sometimes it makes the situation a lot more tolerable if we have a couple drinks in us. Let me be honest here. So what to do, what to do. Now, there's always the tricks I told you yesterday, like having seltzer in the wine glass, you know, the lower caloric versions of things, you know, cocktail, seltzer, that sort of thing. There's also things such as deciding what you're going to do before you get there. If the party starts at 7, you know, from 7 to 8, is cocktails and eight on his actual dinner, get there at 7.55. That's a choice. Or you get there at 7.10 and already decided how you're gonna handle it. There's always the no thank yous. There's always the talking to the bartender privately and just telling them what you need. That's also a choice. If you feel like you really need that giant vat Oh, Pino, to deal with Sarah from accounting. I don't know Sarah from accounting. It might be really just painful. Then let's think about how we're going to deal with Sarah from accounting. And think about it when we're sober and plan it out. And maybe we'll get her talking about her cats or whatever she's into. <laughs> and so we're not just winging it because winging it is when things can really get out of control because next thing you know we're sure like just give me a drink or whatever and that's not what we want long term it isn't what we want short term because tomorrow morning we have to get up and train or whatever we decided we needed to do that day so let's keep our eye on the prize as far as what we want because all these little decisions add up to progress or change or whatever it is we truly want and it might just seem like a cocktail hour it does truly matter. And when we decide we don't want to drink that night or even that week or whatever you decide, there are strategies to help get around it because sometimes there is a lot of pressure to have a drink because everyone else is doing it. And that's just how things can be sometimes. But we don't necessarily have to do it because everyone else is doing it, especially if it's just not conducive to our personal wellness goals. All right. Hope that helps. I'm Erin, EW Wellness Solutions. If you need anything, um, feel free to email me. All right. Thanks and happy second day of Hanukkah.